Hey guys, um, <clears throat> value investors, dividend investors, uh, wealth creators, future millionaires and billionaires and maybe trillionaires. Um, I want to talk about growth because there's this... Um, All they talk about on TV is growth, 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 growth. That's all they talk about. Th these idiots have no idea what the hell they're talking about. You know, they they say, well, you either go for value or you go for growth. Well, let me break it to you in simple terms. The the in a competitive environment. Growth has zero value. So, as a value investor, basically, um, what you are doing a lot of times is you're buying the the growth for free. You're not paying for growth because, like I said, in a competitive environment, growth means zero. Um, I don't know. Let, let, let me let me talk about something else real quick. Uh, I remember a couple years ago, the um, one of the presidents, you know, tried to. They wanted to turn the manufacturing business around and uh, industry around, and they were so worried that we're losing jobs in manufacturing. The <clears throat> reason for that is uh, the productivity through technology usually increases about 8% a year give or take whereas the you know so if in the demand for new workers might be 2% or something so if you if the technology increases by like eight percent every year you you need less and less workers to do the same job because you got you got robots and you got other things replacing those jobs um i mean a, a long time ago let's let's go back a long time ago you know <clears throat> the u.s was a farm economy where everyone was a farmer and 90% of the, the people farmed. And then, you know, then we got women into the labor force. And that basically doubled the productivity because you had two people working. I mean, it has other consequences where it um, <clears throat> puts strains on relationships and family structure. But, but you have... Um, more more people working and then um then we had this phase of industrial um you know steel mills and that kind of thing and and that was more suited to men and manual labor and um now uh we are in a service economy where where most of the <clears throat> the businesses their service business you know that there's not that much created anymore uh as far as um you know steel mills and that kind of thing but but it was a, it's a lot more um service based and uh you know a lot of people think china for example was is going to is gonna you know overtake us and stuff well for every one year uh the average age in the u.s is somewhere around 43 so the u.s is aging but for every year china ages by two years and and they're still in the industrial you know manufacturing part you know whereas we're in the service part um so, 
and like I said, you, usually um, productivity in manufacturing increases by 8%, whereas the demand growth for it might only increase 2%. But as back to stocks, I mean, you have all these idiots on TV that all they talk about is growth, 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 growth. And, and they have no, no idea what the hell they're talking about. You know, in a, in a competitive environment, growth has zero value. I mean, you know, except the, except one case where, like Coca Cola, for example, you know, where where the, you have the earnings power value, but um, that is a lot higher than. The, let's let's just say, um, you know, to. I don't. I don't know. Let, let me let me listen to Bruce Greenwald a little bit. Does the growth rate matter in that expression? Not at all. It's always one. So on a level playing field, what is the value of the growth? It is zero. And that. Did you hear that? On a level playing field, the value of growth is zero. Zip, not a. Kind of a surprise to most people who think growth is value. The playing field, the growth has no value. And you see that, you can try different growth rates and you'll see it makes no difference. Well, what if we're in that first case where the return on capital is less than the cost of capital? Then, so this is basically saying the company spends ten million dollars to quote quote grow, and the the benefit is six million, so they've lost four million. In a level playing field, they spend ten million, they, they make ten million is zero. When they have an advantage, they spend ten million that benefits them twenty million, and they have a ten million dollar uh, profit. Turn on capital minus the growth rate is going to be less than the cost of capital minus the growth rate. And proportionate in the numer change for the numerator are going to be smaller than percentage changes in the growth rate in the denominator. But, I mean, just this little nugget of, of information, little nugget of knowledge, um, it just amazes me, and it really makes me angry that you have a whole industry the, the so-called wealth creators industry that is just that does nothing that the it does you know mo there's a couple good money managers out there that give a um, you know better than 10 percent return but most of them are crappy and um, you know and they're telling you things that are not true and you know growth 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 oh, that's all they talk about in a competitive environment growth has zero value and let's just say you got a monopoly or something let, let, no, let's say um, let's say the barriers to entry are small and let's say you got a company that's getting outrageous returns you know they're getting 50 percent year on year well what happens? Do you have a whole bunch of, <clears throat> and and this happened in the car industry uh, a long time ago, where you had um, Ford, for example. Everyone in America, they they got they had a Ford, and they would they would give you you know basically the car for free, but you had to pay it back and um, payments or whatever. And then what happened? All these other companies from all around the world came here to compete and the uh, margins decreased and um, I don't know if you know this today but Ford for example the only uh, vehicle that they even make a profit on is the F 
the Ford F-150. Every, every single other one they lose money on. Um, but yeah, in a competitive environment, the, the, the growth is nothing. I mean, to, um, anyway, th that, that's, that's all I want to say.